Hi everyone, I'm Quincy Morgan. I'm here to talk about a tool that we built at OpenStreetMap US uh, called Open Trail Map. Um, if you're not <laughs> sure yet, uh, we have a trail stewardship initiative to improve data quality in, uh, of trails in OpenStreetMap that are used by various uh, maps and applications um, in the real world. And out of that came uh, tagging guidelines and uh, mapping uh, guidelines that um, we encourage people to use. And this is still an ongoing project. Um, and we've had um, a mapping campaigns to improve the trail data based on um, those tagging guidelines. Uh, and as a, sort of a challenge to ourselves, we thought, oh, how do we visualize this trail data? How do we make it easier for people to, to see what's been done and what needs to be done? Um, why not make a map? So I've built Open Trail Map. Um, Maggie called it beta earlier. I would call it alpha. It's really just something I threw together, and um, there's still a lot of room for improvement. But uh, first step was just visualizing the data. Um, and here's what it looks like. If you if you go on, we um, are generating our own uh, tile layers as uh, protomaps tiles using Planet Tiler. Um, big shout out to uh, Brian Sperlingano and the uh, OpenStreetMap Americana map style project, which were instrumental in uh, helping us get these uh, tiles set up. We also generate the base map tiles uh, with, that are the same on OpenTrailMap as they are for the Americana uh, map style. So if you zoom in, you can see the, uh, the trails from OpenStreetMap are visible, um, and we try to, to follow the rendering guidelines, um, but also make them uh, visible so you can see the different types of data. Um, with these basic uh, green trails that show full access, um, sort of striped dark green, uh, light green trails that um, are uh, private trails or you're not allowed to, to use a given uh, a, a mode of transport on them and then dashed lines are informal trails. We also have different uh, helpers like uh, trailheads, um, one-way arrows, um, and uh, the name of the trail is also given. Uh, and you can click on the trail to um, see the different attributes of it. We just pull the, um, the data right from OpenStreetMap so it's not stale necessarily uh, in the tiles. And um, we also have uh, relations uh, support as well if you have a, a long route. And then you can uh, click a button and immediately go out to an editor to edit the trail that you're looking at. Um, and then the next time the tiles are updated, it'll appear in the tiles. And of course, we have different um, types of modes. So you can look at bicycle trails. Um, all the purple lines are incomplete data, so that's a good mapping opportunity. You can just click on something and, and go find data source and add a bicycle tag, in this case. A wheelchair uh, access is severely undermapped, so that's a great one to, to start on. Um, horseback riding is a good use case, too. Thank you. Um, similar with ATV trails. Uh, and then, of course, the canoe and kayak trails layer is, is sort of its own beast, but that's in there as well. Um, th that includes portages and different places you can canoe and kayak on lakes and rivers. Uh, and then you can use uh, search by different um, tags that might be missing. So here we want to show all the, the trails that have an operator tag and those that do not. So we can go in and add that operator tag or tag something as informal. Um, same with the name of the trail, the surface of the trail, the smoothness, and there's a few other ones I didn't list here. This is cool. This is the, uh, the you can put on any feature the last time it was checked or surveyed on the ground. Um, and this is, uh, has shows a, a color um, palette based on how recently the trail was checked. And also if a trail has a fix me request, so a mapper wanted help with it. And it's also uh, mobile responsive, so you can use it on your phone. Um, this is just alpha, it's, uh, but there's so many different opportunities that we could we could build into this. Um, we could accept feedback from trail managers and the public in closing that, um, that data loop um, and then display the feedback for mappers to address. We could have tag editing directly in there. Um, we could have attributes that are nice and, and pretty and not just tags. Uh, we could overlay external trail data. So if you're a, an app like uh, uh, that shows trails and people give feedback on trails, that you could have an API endpoint and contribute that data back to OpenStreetMap mappers. Um, or have a USGS trails layer, that kind of thing. Um, you could make the trail maps embeddable on other websites. So if you, uh, if you maintain a trail or you're friends of a trail, you could uh, have an open trail map on your website. 
make it easy to download, and also, of course, generalize this tech for other types of data. People want to use it for sidewalks, utilities, transit, um, what have you. And then you can tell us and get involved. Uh, you can go to the website, you can go on our GitHub, um, learn more about the Trail Stewardship Initiative in general, and uh, get involved. This has all been done on our dime. We do not uh, yet have the funding to, to build this out, so if you um, are interested in becoming a funding partner, then definitely reach out to, uh, to myself or Maggie. And that's what I got, thank you. Anyone else? We have time for some more. I have, I have one if nobody else does. Qu Qu Quincy, do you, um, so you're the trails, open trails map, it, does it only support land-based trails or also canoe trails? Uh, it does have a canoe trail layer. I uh, showed that very briefly. Um, but that's almost an entirely separate system. It actually has its own uh, tile data set. So if you're just downloading land trails, you don't also have to download um, all the rivers and stuff. 